place. But but either way, in terms of like the desert, you know, I just think of it as a as a place that that often, you know, um, played out in '90s movies as 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 this sort of like same thing you see in in swingers, which is they're they're existing in in sort of an, a place that's that's dead and they're sort of like trying to call up whatever cultural mystique there was about Sinatra and like, you know, the Rat Pack and all that age. Exactly. And and, and they're not really creating their own culture. I think that's part of what is 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 sort of like there's a sadness about swingers to me that I'm identifying here in part because it's just exactly. kind of like it's it's postmodern, you know, in the sense of like, oh, we're we have martinis and we're the Rat Pack. But it's like you're not creating anything new. That it's only it's only kind of like acting like you're your grandparents or something. Exactly, and I think that's what makes Swingers a good movie because like a bad movie would have them have a good time in Las Vegas. But the thing is, they go to this sort of like off strip hotel, um, and Vince Vaughn's character Trent is like, you know, this is where it's happening, baby. Like, look at all the beautiful babies, and it's also like a very effective way of speaking. No <laughs> one so in Generation lame. X until Swingers uh, actually. It's it's lame, and I think it's actually purposefully yeah. lame. Oh, we yeah, can talk sure. about that in a bit. But the 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 casino they go to, yeah, and and so that's it's a self aware movie, and I think this is like John Favreau is a, a mm. talented writer, um, you know, and he at least and he he really gets this. Um, but like they go to this casino, and it's filled with just literally very old people. Um, I think actually one of the the, the grandmas at the blackjack table is actually played by Favreau's uh, grandmother. Um, uh, but they're you know they're smoking, they're decrepit you know it, it's it's way beyond the glory days but you have these two young gen x guys who are longing yeah. for some meaning right and again like obviously this is going to uh become a recurrent theme if we're doing la movies of the 90s but that that's so end of history right like if you actually read fukuyama's end of history and i'm reading everything fukuyama wrote for another project i'm working on but if you read fukuyama's end of history there's actually a longing the end of history isn't 100 percent celebratory right what <laughs> fukuyama actually says says is that liberalism absent an enemy is going to be um is, is going to be subject to serious ennui to serious longing for serious meaning in life because it lacks like an existential enemy and i think you actually see that reflected in the entire movie and and what's so good about the movie is that it gets that right away they're going to a las vegas in their head that doesn't actually exist it yeah, might have yeah. never actually existed